first of all, I'm sweating because it's like 90 degrees and 100% humidity. But uh, I went and got some mineral oil and I took my refined beeswax and some paraffin wax and I heated it all up. And when it's in the house, this is a gel. And I was going to dilute it, but I decided, mm, no, it's fine. So I'm using my hand instead of a towel because the towel was soaking it up. And I thought that was kind of wasteful. We don't need to treat the towel. And like I said, it's just mineral oil, beeswax, and paraffin wax. So daddy's uh, beehive finish and hand moisturizer. So I'm just rubbing it in so it gets down into the grains and the handle here and the joints here. Of course, being non-toxic will not hurt the bees whatsoever. They might even benefit from uh, the oil because it's got minerals in it. Mm. So my daughter painted this stencil up. The stencil is really nice. And this is going on happy feet. There'll be more later. Over there. That's it. So we're all set up. <clears throat> Dig it. Happy feet. Has some happy feet. It is a 3D print from a 2D photograph of ink footprints from my first granddaughter. And of course, as soon as the daughter saw that, she's like, Oh, you need to put your printer back together so we can do that for the new baby. Absolutely. I was looking for an excuse anyway. It's always been my problem with 3D printing. What am I going to print? So, you can, well, that's a whole other video. So we painted this up and assembled it. And I oiled it down with my uh, mineral oil, beeswax, paraffin mixture. And there's a big nasty wasp carrying. That's something you just don't see every day. take the opportunity of where it went but there was a wasp with the, oh there it is probably getting ready to eat my face dig it now so it's trying to make off with that cicada hopefully not in my face <laughs> so Go through here, see if there's any eggs with this little virgin queen. And then they need a super. And I got my smoker going. <laughs> Which, why did I just blow on a bee with my CO2? I don't know. I guess it was pissed off. So I got this really stuffed. And then a little tip from Dirt Rooster. Let's put some uh, <clears throat> grass on top to cool the smoke. So that's a, our green grass to cool smoke. So I would shoot the video, but I don't have a stand. Maybe I'll try to get it on there. We'll see. We'll give you an update when I'm done, though. But it got too hot. It didn't turn out. So the update is found eggs on the third frame. So I elected to stop because it's really true to tell if it's a queen or a laying worker. So I will wait another week and then go deeper and see if it's cat brood or cat drones only. But since I did see a little queen in there, I'm hoping everything's cool. And I uh, went ahead and added the super box. Didn't move any frames up. I put everything back exactly the way I found it. I think it's uh, reportedly less confusing for the bees if uh, you don't rearrange their box. Everybody's got a different opinion. But the bees know what they're doing ultimately. So, that is that. It worked out really well. And, uh, thanks for tuning in. Failing at farming update. So, I don't know how many weeks things have been in there. They're finally starting to do something. And a couple amaranths. Yay! But yeah, I just stuck this. This is like the wrong kind of soil, but it's got a lot of nutrients running. So we'll see what happens. Yeah, these were basically micro greens that I just didn't eat. And they weren't growing, so I stuck them out here.
just throw them in there. No real regard for anything other than stick them in the dirt. Last tree update. Maybe we'll have a stump burning party. <laughs> Don't know. It's hot. That dude's done. Gosh, I think I last built a fence in like 92. Two panels, but I had to remove some and situate them around to get them to fit in there. And uh, that dude's rocking. Or not, actually. Let's see. Let's... About the same. Yeah. I do a better job. Anyway. Rock on. I put one down there in the alleyway. This is an old abandoned alley. Once in a while, jokers cut through here. And I harassed him. He's like, man, use the freaking sidewalk. There's no good reason to walk through here. He's just looking for trouble. But back here, you talk about a perfect little spot for flowers. This cries out for wildflowers. Huh. No break. I've been working like a dog since the 4th, trying to uh, get frames built, hives built, this tree cleaned up, fence built, gutters cleaned, grass cutting, and hanging with the family a little. We are going to blow some stuff up tonight, that is for sure. See if I can charge up my cam. I don't know. But I've been watching some of the other guys' B videos like JC and Dirt Rooster and Mr. Ed. And JC's over in Ohio. So we're running kind of neck and neck. And then um, I also watched Canadian Beekeeper blog. She's running obviously a few weeks behind us because it's cooler up there. So it's kind of kind of gauge back and forth between what I should do, what I should have done, and so that's kind of interesting. But um, really not seeing a slowdown in the nectar or the capping of honey. I am seeing a little bit of uh, actually quite a bit less pollen at the moment. So I've been thinking Monday I might run out and get some pollen patties just to keep the numbers going um, I still plan to super these three somehow um, it might be time to yank some honey and sell some honey get these bees to start supporting themselves so it's uh yeah i'm tired <laughs> it's been a lot of work so between uh cutting the grass cleaning the gutters cleaning up the tree which i didn't do a lot of that but clean up the fence and repairing the fence that's done and uh i got supers on the 310 frames and these three eight frames need supers last week. I missed quite a bit of flow, I think, with them. Yes and no. Um, they've got open spaces, but an overabundance means that they would be bringing in even more if they had a, an abundance of space. So probably going to miss out a little bit. But the other four stack is jammed, packed. 